thanks for tuning in to this one cool thing video on Google Docs. Specifically, I'm going to be talking about how to create a table of contents. So this is often really beneficial if you have a massive, massive document and it just gets unruly. Uh, maybe you have a running agenda of sorts or just a really large uh, writing assignment or document. Uh, so you can use Google Docs to create a table of contents. So you can do this by going up to insert table of contents. So I'm gonna, um, I have this outline that I made for a previous um, One Cool Thing video. So I'm gonna type up here table of contents and I'm gonna go to insert table of contents and I'm gonna say yeah, with page numbers or with blue links. So let's try blue links, we'll do that. Now, how do I, decide what I want into my table of contents. So I'm going to, you can see here that I have these three major topics. So I'm going to go right here to this first one and I'm going to go up to format and I'm going to say paragraph styles and I'm going to say heading one and I'm going to say apply heading one. And now it has a larger style. So maybe I say, ah, oh, you know what, 20 is a little too big. I want it to actually be uh, 18. Yeah, that maybe looks a little bit better. Now I can say go back up to format paragraph styles uh, and I can say update heading one to match and now that is 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 the, the size font. Now I come down here I want this also to be in my table of contents. So I'm going to go paragraph styles heading one and I'm going to say apply heading one. Now up here I have my rough outline of table of contents. So now if I just hover over this and click, now I have this little refresh. Now when I hit refresh, it, boom, there's my two table of contents entries. So now I can do this. I'm going to go back up to format, paragraph, heading one, and I'm going to say apply heading one, and refresh, and boom. So now as this document starts to get bigger, now if I want to click on that, it'll jump me straight to it. Obviously on one page, it's not all that exciting, but that's uh, that's how you can do it. Now, uh, say I want to do the other kind. Here now I have page numbers. So if these were getting a little more spaced out so that my topics were actually on another page, now you can see here that that's on a second page. Now, maybe I want to include this also. I can go here to format paragraph styles. Now I have heading two, um, apply heading two. And so now I can include heading two as well in the table of contents. So now this table of contents has the page. And by the way, if you click on it, you can jump right to it still. So table of contents can be really kind of a cool, quick tool that can just help with organization. You can see how quickly I created it. And then uh, as you go, you just always go back up to that format paragraph styles and apply the heading. And you can see there's lots of different options for that at that point. So that's your one cool thing on how to create a table of contents. Give it a try and uh, hopefully it helps you. Maybe it's that one cool thing that really is an aha for you. All right, thanks for watching. Talk to you later.